Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Monday, November 27th, 2023 by Gaia Blooming. I'm Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I align my mind with gratitude for the divine. And here we are, full moon in Gemini, my birthday, happy birthday to me, um, and some interesting energies. <laughs> so... Where do we start? I actually want to start with a little giveaway. So I think I did it the same time last year. I just announced my readings for 2024 and I have three different options. I have a just cards option. I have a more just cards with a little astrological and then I have the whole shebang option and I'll put them below. But I'm going to do what I did last year because I really enjoyed that and I... I like to give. <laughs> um, and so I'm going to give away probably, I think, the middle option to people who comment on Facebook and on YouTube, like under the videos on Facebook or YouTube. Um, so if you make a comment between now, I haven't decided if I'm going to do Christmas Eve or the solstice or New Year's Eve. One of those. <laughs> um I'll decide at some point. The Libra and me will decide at some point. Uh, but you will be entered to win that. So please comment away. That being said, uh, here we are. Full moon in Gemini. And it's interesting. This full moon is at 4 degrees Gemini. Technically, my sun is a 5 degree sun. So it's not exactly exact, but it's, it's close enough. I've been feeling it. I've been feeling the Gemini energy, <laughs> working things. And Gemini can be very, I call it Tarzan. <laughs> like swinging from one idea to the next. It can be very ungrounded. I spent some time this weekend feeling very like, I am not grounded. I feel very electrocuted by this energy. So you may have felt some of that. The mind, Gemini energy is just... It's so funny that that's the word, the horcrux of the mind. That's the word that's coming to mind. Um, but Gemini energy really engages the mental. And so you may have found your mind being extra chatty. And while the moon continues through Gemini, which is through Tuesday, uh, all the way through Tuesday evening, you still are probably going to feel the chattiness. Um, I love the Sabian symbol for this moon. The Sabian symbol for this moon is, hold on while my phone loads, uh, Holly and Mistletoe reawaken old memories of Christmas. And the keynote is kind of funny. A longing for the pre-intellectual state of consciousness. I've had so many friends like talk to me about like, remember how it was, you know, like, before we were awakened, <laughs> like, were things easier or we just didn't care as much or something? You know, there is something in that naivete that can feel really safe, almost. <laughs> um, and yet I feel like this moon, this memory, the, ho the holly and the mistletoe, this season of lights, like, regardless of what uh, holiday you like to celebrate at this time. They're all seasons of light. It's all sparkly and a reminder of the light because in the northern hemisphere this is such a season of darkness like it's important to turn on the lights at this time. It's important to remember the light at this time. Um, but even this nostalgic energy it's reminding us that that innocence never leaves us. That truly here we go into the Sagittarius Gemini energy. As much as we think we know, we know the most tiny, tiny morsel of the wholeness of the universe. There is so much wonder for us. And truly, the most spiritual people I know are those who live in wonder. Who are like, look at the lights. I love the lights. Who can find themselves in that energy. And so I'm encouraging you in this Gemini energy to connect part of Gemini's connection, connect to the innocence in you, connect to the part of you that sees the lights and loves the lights, that sees the sparkly things and loves the sparkly things and feels that nostalgia for those 
beautiful warm moments because those moments kind of like hopscotch through them they're they're paramount to our overall un unfolding um lesson wise with this moon gemini is always always a learner so it's a reminder to stay listening, to stay open, to pay attention, and to recognize you don't have to take everything as truth that you hear. In fact, don't. <laughs> Please don't take everything as truth. There is a deeper part of yourself that knows what resonates and what doesn't. And if it doesn't resonate, doesn't mean you have to throw it away, put it to the side. It's important for you to stay in your alignment. There is some karmic energy that's going on in and through this. We have Saturn in kind of a wide square uh, to this energy, still kind of engaging with Mars. There's a, still some of that hurry up and wait, but we're moving, moving past that. But that Saturn kind of anchoring this energy is a reminder that so much of what we're processing is from beyond this time. And it's just important to remember that. Like, sometimes we need to take it a little less personally. Um, and just be like, all right, processing through. <laughs> all right, moving this energy through. Uh, Joe and I, just before doing this, listened to the song Pulling Up the Roots <laughs> by the Talking Heads. And that's what this energy can kind of feel like, pulling up some of the roots of some of this ancestral stuff. Like, okay, let's make it through this. It's also interesting because Mercury, which is the ruler of Gemini, is in a square with Neptune today. And so in this square, which is connected to the nodes, which are very karmic in their nature as well, connected to Lilith as well, whew, making a T-square with Lilith. <laughs> so in this energy, I think you're going to have some ahas. I think you're going to have some breakthroughs. I think you're going to have some moments, just pulled the cards because I totally forgot. I think you're going to have some moments where these things that we've been carrying, this clinging to this past, this old emotional stuff, where we're just done with it. Completion, maturity, and there may be a part of yourself that wants to hold on to it, that schizophrenia card. We're still holding on. Like, do I have this responsibility? No. You have to do your part. Show up for what's showing up for you and then let it drop. Let it go. <laughs> and that's always the hardest part. Like, we can kind of, like, sit on something. Like, have I done it? Have I done enough? Should have, could have, would have done more. All of that. And this is a call, like, no, no. Recognize when it's enough. Recognize you are enough in and through this. And that can help you in the release of this energy. That being said, anytime Neptune is at play, it can be a little foggy. It can get a little confusing. And so just be aware of those foggy layers. Gemini does like to go down the wormholes or down the rabbit holes. Um, what I'm feeling is this may not be the time for the rabbit holes. You may have another time come around later where the rabbit holes may serve you a little better. Why am I saying this? Because Mercury is basically beginning its shadow period as well in this for our Mercury retrograde that will begin in December. And so I think it might be during that retrograde that we come back around to some of these rabbit holes, that we come back around through some of these themes. But in true Gemini spirit, <laughs> let the work you do today be enough and then know how to put it down. For now, let it be, okay, complete, mature, check, done, <laughs> for now, in and through this energy. Um, like I said, I really think that there's some beautiful ahas. But, okay, so here's another energy that I'm getting. Sometimes, you know, when you get an aha and you're like, I don't even know how to put the words to this thing. It's just this feeling. It might be some of that. And over this time, it itself may mature. It may uh, evolve into some greater understanding. Anything else about this full moon energy that I'm feeling? It is connected to an eclipse we had back in 2021. So you may see some reoccurring themes coming around. So just be aware of that as well. So remember, 
I'm going to be entering people into the contest. Uh, please look into the 2024 readings. Also, holiday gift cards available as well. And regular readings available always as well. So, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power. And remember who you are. Namaste.